see the picture too right here what I have um, and I printed several out just for sake of demonstration now um, I'm gonna uh, and I have my watercolor stuff too um, but so so I have right now um, so I just kind of these are three of those 14 uh, poses that you're gonna be uh, looking at um, so do we gotta start do we gotta start drawing this right now no that's next monday and oh. you're gonna be seeing it from the screen which is much better yeah it's just for me to for for, for my demonstration oh okay yeah so you don't have to do anything and so um so i'm because i was thinking you know i have my watercolor color pencils you know those are kind of my usual medium and then you know sharpie and like brush marker and things like things that I recommended on your thing and so um, so I'll probably start with uh, watercolor watercolor because okay so to me um, not every painters think this way but to me painting is just a, a little complex form of drawing so you know how when you draw, you think about um, different things like, like uh, you know, the the weight, the values, contrast, core shadow, cast shadow, environment, and three dimensional illusion, and, and all of those kind of things. It's just the same. It's just a little complex version of that, um, and gesture. And so, and I I regret only I might be able to find but I, I'm just gonna do it in a smaller scale even though this is as you can see pretty tiny uh, I recommend you guys to work on a little bit bigger but it's okay I mean I'm, I'm not too strict with the size of the sketchbook or uh, the sketches you'll be doing and so I'm just making sure I got the right brush okay so Um, so, so what I'm trying to do here is just since I said, um, the, uh, painting to me is drawing. So I'll approach that way. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, just mix the right color. Let's see how, okay. You can kind of see my palette too. But, um, and then. And then sort of, you know, try to um, try to work in terms of the shape. I wish I had a little more distinctive um, pose for this one. I can probably find some, um, but right now I'm just trying to figure out. See, I'm not even worrying about getting the correct anatomy or or shape or anything. I mean, a uh, um, structure or anything like that. Um, I'm just figuring out the shape. So and forgive me if I just kind of all of a sudden stop explaining what I was in the middle of explaining because it, you know, I'm really bad at multitasking and it's not easy to talk and draw at the same time. Um, so, so here's, so I'm not even trying to distinguish between, um, between the, uh, between the neck and the head and then the body. And I'm not trying to like overthink. Just kind of going with the flow of it. It's it's almost in a way like a like a sculpture. Like you're you're adding form, shape. Like, 
onto each other. Then while waiting for this to sort of dry so that I can do the the, the mop or the peak. Um, I'll probably just kind of have fun with the um, other environment because I said I didn't say to skip the entire entire background. Uh, some adding some environment is always nice. So again, you know, just be as loose as you can and really sort of have fun. You know, I'm not really doing it once again in terms of um, like a traditional painting method. I'm like forming. So I'm forming um, shapes as I go. So I, I keep saying shape because how important the shape is. And what you can't say because your your hand is blocking the. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right. Yeah. Now can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for pointing that out. So, and then you can stay. Um, maybe because I should probably warm up a little more. Um. I I think I could have been, or I could be, uh, even more loose. Uh, I, I, I personally think that I'm still a little stiff right now. Um, but, um, but really, you're not really worrying about the uh, accuracy, accuracy of the, um, of the shape or um, anatomy or really anything. Um, so, just kind of have fun with, okay, so there's this. Um, and then and then I can probably go on. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to go back to that beak, the bird. And then um, it's pretty much a neutralized tone, like dark gray. So I'm going to choose dark brown, Van Dyke brown, I believe what I'm mixing. It's probably hard to see it because it got, let me just move my, I mean, this is not a painting lesson, so I'm, you know, it's just not that important, but here, so here you can see my, my uh, Van Dyke brown. And then, um, then a little uh, ultramarine. Yeah. And I should have chosen a thinner brush too, but it's okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and and notice how, so when I do this, um, notice how I kind of went over the, um, head too with that neutral gray tone because because the dark part of the head is almost as dark as black you know what i mean it's there's no reason to really separate things like oh, okay you know this is um this is head, this is neck, this is a beak. There's no reason to really um, distinguish that when everything is sort of put together and then formed as a, as a shape divided by, um, by the lighting. Okay. Um, and then what I would do is 
because of because in this situation because of the highlight um, now so for the highlight this is where you need to kind of slow down and really sort of take your time and again I ch should have chosen a thinner brush but um, then um sort of work your way around it um and all of this really depends on how realistic you want but i tend to like it when things are a little more loose and a little less realistic because um sometimes it's just my personal opinion sometimes when you go too realistic uh you you sort of uh tend to lose a fun of 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 the shape um because then why not why not just take photos you know of course you know you train your eyes to really observe and everything and you know there are a lot of a great argument point which many of them i agree with but still for me sort of getting the right um it's all about decision making getting the right um color and the right shape um it's just really important to me just being selective with what you want to show um, and sort of sometimes simplifying simplifying what you're sh showing you know not everything you don't have to show all the all the from all the information um and then i guess i can go on and on with a little bit of tree branch and a really dark sort of contrast right here behind these leaves and stuff but but I'm sure um, you guys all get the point. And I'm sorry I can't zoom in on the zoom, you know, to the camera. I wish I could have. Um, but anyways, um, get a little bit closer. And somehow the lens is not it's not showing the vivid pink that I put down. But um, so all this was without any sketch. So, um, so that's how loose you want to be. Just sort of, you know, it's okay if it comes out a little chubbier, if it comes out a little skinnier. Um, I want to go to, and then I'll probably wait till it dries a little bit so that I can maybe do a um, darker tone, you know, for better contrast. But something that would probably apply to you guys a little bit more because a lot of you are probably thinking doing whether or not you're going to color, you're going to probably want to do a loose sketch first. And so, and I'll try to do, so this is a little bigger, okay. So, I'll do the same shapes or shape, 
with different mediums. Okay, so again, you know, get ready to see me messing up. <laughs> you know, it's it, if if you if you get the perfect shape on the first take, then then you can't learn to be better on the next take. So just, it's okay, especially for those warm-up poses that you'll be doing next Monday, it's okay to mess it up, just loosen it, up, loosen it up, you know? So I'm taking this shape right there, up there. See how I'm holding my, um, my brush marker, like handshake way. I'm not even holding the way I'm writing. So something like this. So, so I'll just, you know, just for sake of demonstration. So loosen it up, loosen it up, looking at the overall shape. So you're not really worrying about, um, you know, every single detail or anything. You just kind of you know, loosen, loosen it up. Sometimes take a little time, sometimes it's okay, you know, and then um, and sort of loosen it up and it's okay to make mistakes. Then you just kind of go over and draw over it. That's what I meant by, um, that's what I meant by um, the thought process. I, I would love to see you guys' um, thought process, you know. Loosen it up. And it's a tough angle, but that's okay. You know, just kind of, you know, whatever you see as a dark area, what I would do is I'm just going to sort of a little bit render it. It's kind of like sculpting in a way. I forgot to draw ears, but that's okay. I mean, this is probably all I'll do. And then, yeah, and then a little bit of um, environment. Uh, okay, you guys can see. And it's just too bad my camera, that's, that was a flat, the most flat angle possible I could do with the with my iPad, um, because if I if I want to position it like literally facing down, like the tripod needs to be where I'm sitting. <laughs> so um, this was the best I could do, but yeah, something like that. And then it's kind of fun to see a little bit of um, you know, environment like a tree, whatever you know, whatever that thing is. In there, you could almost make a little nice competition piece out of this too, and you know I'll probably push aside this tree a little bit to the to the left. I mean, you don't have to do. See, this is I'm still kind of minimizing the background. You don't have to put literally everything you see here, um, but and then there's. Um, then you can, then you can always go back and, yeah, I could even do watercolor on top of it. Um, so it's e a little easier to paint because, because it's big. 
because if it is, was as I was doing that, um, the ivies, the bird, I was like, man, it's too small. I should have either chosen a thinner brush or uh, drew, drawn bigger, but um, so, you know, nice and big, just, you know, I'm not even introducing you guys to any fancy technique at this point, just kind of, you know, you know, this good old, um, you know, uh, wash, you know, sort of a pen and ink wash technique ish sort of you know i'm still kind of mixing color a little bit here and there um but um but not like going too crazy with it um i love how there's a like a nice blue tone see i i love exaggerating color for those of you um that know my work um I'll do things like, uh, you know, not anything too crazy. Somewhat I see a little, I know it's kind of hard to see you guys, my palette, but somehow I see a little bit of warm purple, yellow-ish tone here. That's what I just mixed. Then a little bit of black there. Um, that's probably pretty much all I do. Um, no, nothing too fancy. You know, and um, and then I know most animals are whether at the zoo or at, in in the wild, they're they're surrounded by a similar color, you know, for their own sake of protection. But but in this case, I want a little bit. Uh, uh, distinguish it and make um, make the tone of the uh, of this rock uh, way warmer, so that I can some somewhat distinguish you know it from. I mean, you don't have to, but from the uh, you know from the animal. And then you know, I guess I can kind of go on and on. Still, there's significant amount of um, similar color palette um, on, you know, on this rock too. So you can't you can't just like ignore it, you know, altogether. Anyways. Something like that, and then this, and maybe on the on that leaf. Oops, too much red brown. I love red brown. Um, you know, again, I'm not looking for like too much of a. Um, you know, realistic um, illusion here. You know, I'm just trying to get the impression of you know what I see, especially when I paint from light. Like it's it's like kind of like how impressionists are. Like when you look at certain things, depending on where you're sitting, what time of the day you're looking at, even you know how you're feeling that day of when you when you draw, it all affects on on the. Uh, choice of color. I strongly believe that. And so, so the more you believe in that, 
the more it becomes pointless to get things super realistic. You know, I have so many, so many of my colleagues that are like genius at realistic rendering, and I'm like, I admire them every single day. But it's just not for me. And I love this contrast on the left side. There's a, a much brighter and warmer green. I mean, I didn't really intend that. So I'm going to mix a bunch of yellow and just, you know, whatever. I'm just kind of have fun with it. Yeah, it's pretty much the most I'll do um, for things like that. Okay. Um, so put that aside, I don't know if you can, if you can see it in the, in the right angle, I guess this is the right angle, I think. So this is what I did. Okay. All right. So the last thing I'll, um, so, so I'll be a little more, okay. So like if I use this, uh, Copic multiliner thing that many of you guys love Copic, right? And then, and then there's a ballpoint pen or, or fine point Sharpie or anything in that sort too. Same thing. Um, as you saw in my previous demo, like I love drawing big, but I don't know why I'm now I chose a small sketchbook again. It's just so random, but, um, Again, sort of getting like overall shape, you know, again, you know, we're looking for, we're looking for gesture, okay? So sometimes the faster you are, um, the better it is getting gesture, but that's not always all true because, um, and also one of the things that, that you, you, you probably noticed here is that um, I'm not really doing like, line work and then okay i'm done with the line so let me go in and render it because i'm done with the line work but what i'm but instead what i'm really doing um is is um i'm sorry is i'm looking for shapes Okay. I'm looking for shapes. And then if you mess up, that's okay. I already kind of did because it's supposed to go like this and then, and then it's longer. So proportion wise, I messed it up a little bit, but, uh, but anyways, so, so you're looking for shapes. It's okay if you end up with a lot of searching line like I did right here. Um, so I'm constantly, I'm constantly looking for shapes that are divided by light uh the the source the light source of light and and partially by the um anatomy but i know i'm gonna say this the the riskiest thing that any art educator can say my least pro my least priority here is the anatomy okay in my opinion if you're so stuck and worried with the uh, anatomy, you can never get the movement and gesture down. So many of my, not just RCC, many of my colleagues out there too kind of disagree, disagree with me, which is fine because I understand both points. But I'm just speaking from my personal experience. If I, 
if I worry about the accuracy of the proportion and anatomy and structure too much, then I can never have fun with it. I can never capture this energy that I maybe I may be getting right now. I can never capture um, the movement. But ironically, or maybe obviously, capturing the movement is whether you do a still drawing or um, or animation, capturing doing the movement driven. Um, drawing is the most important thing i mean we make things move right so so one of the things that you might be noticing right here is that is that um i don't oh, one second i'm sorry again my bad multitasking here yeah. Uh, is that um, I didn't necessarily start from okay so now let me draw a head okay now I'm done with the head let me go down and do you know when you do figure drawing you know how you guys all start with the head like an egg shape or something and then let me go down to the neck and then the shoulder and so I don't have any of that kind of particular order because for me what's most important thing is to really find out the overall gesture, overall movement, overall rhythm, and then the shapes. Coming up with the right shape. So for example, you guys, when you look at, when you look at this right here, there's a cast shadow of the leg, and then there's a front leg, and then there's a back leg. But when you actually look at the photo, there's, barely any distinction between maybe because of the lighting maybe because of the pattern on the body there's it's it's really hard to find the distinction between the um the the shadow to the pattern or the mark on the body to the um to uh, between the front and and the back leg and and then the background the rock and everything it's sort of all mixed together so i did so i did I didn't try to make things up. I didn't try to go in. Okay. Oh shoot. Is that is that where the back leg is coming out? Is that is that exactly where the back, or is it? You know, I try to group them together by by shape. Whether it's getting mixed up between the back leg and front leg, I didn't care. Whether the dark part of the back leg is kind of blended into the. Uh, uh, the cash shadow of uh, uh, you know on the on the rock I didn't care you know just like how when i when i did this when i first did this i didn't care let's put this aside if that dark black i was putting there was going over and going through the head i didn't care because that degree of the value the dark value on the on the dark side of the beak was almost the same darkness as the dark side of the head so i didn't really bother going in and like okay this is where the beak begins this is where this is where the uh, it distinguishes between the neck and head. i didn't do any of that because that's not what you're supposed to do. you're supposed to draw purely purely from your observation okay so some part I, I kind of took a little time, some part I kind of went more gestural. I guess I tend to be a little more gestural when I, uh, when I draw with the brush marker, but, but the same degree of the importance of the gesture is, is all there. Um, and so, and then I think if I, if I wasn't talking as I was doing this, I may have been able to, to, to do this in like uh, four minutes around there but i think i spent about 10 minutes because i was talking and drawing at the same time so uh i'm not looking for photographic realistic uh work you know i just and then it, when you when you choose drawing like this um you know have sort of have fun with it i mean i um 
I like doing different things with, I mean, so, so if it's like, I'll do really quick. Okay. Probably less than a minute. So if it is just, um, uh, like a brush marker fun stuff, you know, like, you know, loosen it up and just sort of, you know, there's texture and okay. So shape just, it's a shape silhouette. I talked about silhouette, right? So, um, So if it was like a, like a minute pose or something, this is pr pretty much what I would do. Right? Getting a quick silhouette, quick silhouette down as quick as possible. But at the same time, I didn't just like scribble, scribble, you know, like sometimes when my kids see my work, they go like, dad, that's a scribble, scribble. <laughs> Cause I, you know, that's, cause that's kind of how I draw. Um, but so, but, but, you know, cause, cause I was thinking, I was looking at it. Yes. You know, I don't completely ignore the proportion and then things like that. You know, I look at it, I look at, okay. So the legs, it comes out right here about a third point on the body. Okay. So this one, right. Be, uh, you know, the distance between these, the back leg and the front leg, distance between the butt and then the head. You know, I I do, I do calculate that. You know what I mean? I do calculate that in my head quickly. I just you just gotta train. You just gotta do it quickly. You know, for gesture. So now, um, like, I know I, I I love color pencils, and um, and you know, there's a lot of things you can do, like, but being playful. And, and having fun so important so what I so what I would do is I, I would just kind of you know draw like a really uh, simplified shape right really simplified shape with my color pencil right just overall silhouette right and then there and then there's okay so just really roughly with this and then and then what I would do is um, like it's just it's just a bl almost black and white the sheep right it's almost black and white and um but but I want to have fun with it so so over here I I, I love breaking things down to a different shape uh, so for example uh, we're from here to here to just sort of whatever other things things are surrounding you know I'm I'm gonna just kind of exaggerate or include or exclude or you know uh, and so what I'm gonna do is it doesn't make any sense just from seeing seeing right now but but what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna go ahead and sort of I usually take a little longer take more time and, and try to put the delicate delicate uh, uh, strokes as, as um, some of you guys are might have seen some of my color pencil work um, but for sake of demonstration and so, and then, and then I would choose, um, so what, what takes me longer really is choosing color that takes me longer than actually doing things. So I'm just like. You know, just quickly and, and loosely, and just figuring out the shape. You know, there are other things, whether that's a tree or other animal or other silhouette behind. You know, I'm just making like all this basic shape out of them. Um, I know that that there's the shadow that goes like this. You see how I'm I'm like dividing them and then. It's kind of fun. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go ahead and do this.
Well, before I mess more things up, I want to, I want to, um, I want to make sure that I get the right shape of, uh, you know, the leg. Okay, good. So then, so I do that. And then, um, and so then I see a lot of purple there. So, and another color. So, so blue, I mean, cool gray. It starts with kind of a cool gray. And then you go to, it goes to a little bit of um, purplish shadow, which I love because you know so that's one thing that i i want a lot of you guys to sort of stay away from is that okay it's a it's a yellow ochre or a, or like a yellowish brown that's the ground so it's just gonna be dark brown the shadow no i mean look at take a look at there's a green there's blue there's purple there's yellow it's almost rainbow within this shadow that's my where my biggest interest is. You know, get all of that. Get whatever you see there. In that, you know, have fun with it. Be playful with it. Um, and then, uh, and then you know, so I sort of like divide. Okay, so I divided the shape and here and then here, and so you know, just kind of go in and you know, kind of have fun with it. Um. It's just a neutral. What green is this? Cool gray. Even though it's not really cool gray that what, what we were looking at. So, you know, I'm not going to get a lot of, you know, too detailed. I'm just going to, I mean, I know how to do detail thing, but it's just the important thing is that you're able to really loosely look for the shape. Um, and then there's a lot of, um, a lot of red. And then, uh, or magenta on the head. Let me get that in. Then you know what else I see there? What else I see there is I see a little desaturated sky blue highlight. At the same time, there's a distinct light and dark too, even within the. You know, I'm not gonna go. You know, I can like go on and on, but I'm just gonna, and then um, and even within the body, like it's it's pretty fun. You know, I would I would select, like I would divide it up. Because it really is divided by lighting, so it's really yellowish, which you can adopt if you want to. Um, but I, I kind of try to go with how how currently it is on there. So even if I'm kind of doing this random uh, texture thing, I still um, I still try to look for shapes. Like it's almost brown, like on the bottom. Not, not even a gray.
And I even see orange. Is that warm? This is, I chose the wrong orange because it's too neon. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I mean, right? Um, so, it's like rainbow, you guys. You can't, whether you look at, unless you're in R17 and drawing like plain white sphere shape, but even then, depending on what lighting you have, and trust me, depending on what mood you're in, you should all change. You should all change things. Okay, anyways, and then I, I, I like having this sort of uh, blending, you know, what is this? Just kind of going in. And again, I'm, I'm doing a little bit too fast here because unlike a brush marker, um, you know, unlike when I do a brush marker, uh, I honestly like taking some time, like sort of delicate strokes and stuff when I do a uh, color pencil work. Before that, I think I did a little, a little too quickly uh, for my, my own sake. But, um, um, you know, sort of, you know, having fun with the, uh, with the shapes. And then and I'll probably do something like this. And again, environment, drawing environment not necessary but but with things like color pencils it's sort of fun to sort of like really take some time and divide up the shape and and you know really have fun with it Anyways, um, no, not the most successful one, but so this is kind of how it came out. And so, so pretty much as you can see, what's happening here is like I kind of made, because this was my focal point, like I made other surrounding, like other sheep into like a rock, you know, or something. And then there's something else there, more um, red brownish. I just kind of made a random background backdrop out of it. And then, you know, but um, I kind of worked, you know, divide them by the shape. Well, one thing that I didn't forget is, yes, I worked with shapes, but I didn't forget to really pay attention to the overall proportion and, and texture and things like that too, you know? And so, 
Okay, let me see. Just to kind of revisit. I don't know if I can fit everything that I did. I only did three. I think I might have done one more. And, uh, um, oh, it, it's priority. Yeah, I can just take that out. So, so this is kind of, um, so I use four different mediums. Um, but there's one thing in common, and that is this degree of gesture, movement that I'm trying to, to really get. Okay. So, um, oh, if just in case you're curious about how my usual color pencil work, I, you know, it would have, I, I think I took like 40 minutes or something on this one. Um, so in terms of, yes, like dividing to a different shapes and working with, uh, you know, different colors and mixing a lot of different colors, it's the same idea. It's just that if I have more time to sit down and I, I actually usually, unlike my brush marker work, I really like going in and, 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 uh, going in like a lot of details and delicate line, line strokes. It's just kind of, a um, really rougher, really rougher version of that. <laughs> 